Hi there beautiful, welcome to the channel. So right here in front of me, I have some camera accessories I cannot wait to share with you. They really work for me and I thought I'd share with you as well. So I'm gonna be demonstrating this using the Sony A5000, my first ever camera. And then I'm also going to demonstrate with the Canon 200D that I'm filming with, but we're gonna do it outside. So here we have a mini tripod from Ulanzi. This can also be used for your phone and for the camera as well. And here we have an ND filter it's basically sunglasses for your camera or for your lens basically this actually helps you maintain a lower shutter speed so that you can still film at a lower shutter speed and make sure that your footage is not jaggedy and still make sure that when you're filming outside or where there's too much light this can actually help you just you know lower it down it's like when you're wearing shades when you go outside you can see much better this is the same thing that goes for the lens as well so and then with this this is a polarizing filter it also allows you to film uh, you know when maybe you're filming outside and you're filming shiny things like cars or straight through windows or you are somewhere where there is too much things that are shining into the camera this will definitely lower that for you and it's good and it's perfect if you are going to be vlogging or doing things outside so firstly we are going to screw this camera on to that mini tripod so this you can actually take off this is usually used for the phone so that i can turn the phone however i want so you can just remove this because this can turn and move and all the other good stuff so what you want to do is screw it right here so you can actually put this on your desk and kind of like film yourself you know adjust it talk to the camera or you can use it in a vlogging type of situation with the sony the flipper screen comes all the way up and you can just be like talking and all the good stuff and you can hold it and move around with it so however you want to use it this is strong enough to hold a mirrorless camera and reasonably sizable dslrs let's go and demonstrate that i'm also going to add on a light and a microphone as well not on this camera though okay so we are filming with the rig that we have over here i am using the canon 200d and i have the mini light that you see over here from ulanzi and i also have the road video mic pro over here and everything is actually working out and also i am using the ulanzi tripod and i put the ball park over here everything is nicely set and secure and you know if i just want to add on some light maybe i feel like it we are just going to set safely adjust the light over here you know just to give me an extra boost just because I might be somewhere a bit darker and this actually helps me to like properly you know just vlog and move around I know this looks like a very very complicated rig but trust me it looks cool if you're a person that actually wants to like you know maybe take your filming to the next level maybe you're vlogging and you want that cinematic look or something like that or just to look cool I think this is really dope but if this camera is too heavy for you you can go ahead and put the Sony or any other mirrorless camera that you actually have that will be light for you to carry around but anyways i think this is actually decent it's actually quite dope and it works out well i mean this rig is so cool i feel like the coolest person ever but obviously you have to pay attention to the fact that you are going to get attention from people looking at you like what is she doing but it's not about the people it's about how you're gonna look okay baby okay <laughs> but anyways that is my demonstration for the outfit outside rig and this is with the light on like mind you okay like the light is on right now i'm being filmed with the sony right there with xd say hi maybe i might just expose him there he is and now i'm out of focus so you can say hi <laughs> Right now I'm using a 24 millimeter pancake lens, which is perfect for a vlogging situations, if you ask me anyways, uh, because it focuses on you and mostly everything else that's in the background is slightly blurred out. And I am blown out, as in I'm overexposed. And right now my settings are like my shutter speed is one over 50. My ISO is 100 and i am at f8 right now so i'm going to come and put this and you're going to see how that's going to change usually when you're outside you rack up your shutter speed so that maybe it's like at 2000 3000 or even 4000 but to avoid that we are going to do this And voila, as you can see, I am now nicely exposed. 
I did not change the settings. We are still at the same settings that we started out with. You do not need to rack up your shutter speed to compensate for all this light. Firstly, we were overexposed and now we are not. And now you know you can buy some shades for your lens, okay? Now we are going to demonstrate the polarizing filter. I am here with my little friend called the polarizing filter and what it does as you can see as i'm turning the sun is just shining on my face in very uncomfortable ways that you don't want to see as the viewer anyways and the sky also is like blown the out <laughs> the beep out so we're going to come and put this over here i am using my kit lens the 18 to 55 millimeter Alrighty, so we've just put on the polarizing filter i'm sure nothing has changed as of yet so this is without and this is with okay so my face is no longer having the bounce back or the shine or the overexposedness on my face basically the shine and then the sky is no longer as blown out as you can see and i'm good and looking nice so it's all about turning the polarizing filter this works even let's say maybe you're filming where there is water at the beach and sometimes the waves actually kind of reflect water into the camera and it's not really nice so this actually works out and sometimes the sky has some sort of vignetting or is just overly exposed the polarizing filter is your friend especially if you're a person that likes to vlog and likes to be out her okay okay so this is the second way you can actually use a polarizing filter let's say you're filming through a mirror usually there's a lot of reflections so you want to get rid of that so i'm going to close this did you see the difference let me know if you saw the difference of how cool it is to shoot through a glass without reflections okay give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw subscribe if you're new to the channel for more tiktok videos like this check out my video where i showed phone accessories using ulanzi products as well if you're also a vlogger on your phone and your camera otherwise i will see you in my next video much love and light i'm gonna go now bye